fight to be had as playoff football and certainly playoff fever have descended upon the music city of Nashville, Tennessee. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Tennessee Titans. For a berth in the AFC championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 35, here's second down and two. A-Chan here, they stay on the ground. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's a give to HM. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 42 yards for him already. An excellent drive to kick off this divisional round matchup. That might be an understatement. On first down, back to HN. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Here's second and seven. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in the red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Tua. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. Sanders' kick is good. Not a touchdown, obviously, but playoffs, you're on the road. At least you put something on the board. I would agree with that totally. You're not exactly sending a message to the opposition, but you are letting them know that you came to play. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. That's out quickly to London. 
And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Brings up third and three. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Option play, here's Pollard. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's a second and seven. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Called out a very strong gain of 24. Space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Now receiver in motion left. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. As they come up now, second and goal. closer here it's third and goal two straight shots on the ground now on third do you go to the air I think the possibility exists and if you're doing it you're probably going play action since you ran it twice but I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory Pollard will take this into the end zone for a Titans touchdown Extra point forthcoming. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're one, two, threes, and they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Right back to A-Chan on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They fake the handoff, now Tua. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First catch for him in these playoffs. He was held without one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. Here's Tua. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's brought down. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Up the middle, A-Chan. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 70 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A-chan on the counter. And a short gain here down to the 22. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. From the 22 now, here's the second down and nine. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Got his man complete over the middle. Brad Smith. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Fourth down. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And now they're in the hurry up. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. First down, he'll drop to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Bradley Chubb came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 19. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw here, taken in by Wiley, the tight end. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Tennessee, 
They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. He'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Let's go now. Second and ten. set up to throw and that one too wide and incomplete well it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion no need to panic they just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track and now they'll take a timeout defensively after the second down play they burn the timeout making them sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter Drops it in from long distance. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Win or go home, that's the name of the game. And we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. Pollard to return from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost. Five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. It may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Here's Pollard again. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Out of the gun now on third down. Strong running at the 30. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 
So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now they'll change things up. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards on the play. So picks up a first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They'll set up a throw. Flushed out. And into the end zone for Tennessee touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 17-3. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Hill going to go in motion right. On second down, Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's a chan And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And the tight end goes in motion left. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football. 50% typically not going to get it done, is it? Well, let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. Hey, hey. Watch it, Oscar. Hey. Tua once again here on second and 10. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. No, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points 
and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Play action, now it's Tua. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. At this point in the game, and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 25-yard line. Here's Tunga Bailoa to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Looking to pass to him. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run, a champ. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Waddle, the motion man, right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Durham Smythe, a five-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. 
Going to run again here with Palmer. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Here's a second and five. Out of the gun to give the Spears. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying it around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. And now an audible here into something else. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And his kick is indeed good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Tua to throw again. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Ready. Here we go, first and goal. Tua, Mostert, will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. 
It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20 to 17. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And the Titans are going to recover the football. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll come up now third and three. first down and that should just about do it i do know that owners when they watch their quarterbacks running with the football they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise but when you're getting that kind of a game hard to argue against calling it and they'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play They go to a knee here, and with that, it's on to the AFC title game. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hard